Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to Railway Empire Patchwork Scenario for the Germany DLC. Uh, you can see we're still trying to rebuild uh, the mess of, uh, <laughs> of of situation that we're in from the old connections here. You can see we've got some trains rolling in. We need to work all that stuff out soon, but we're concentrating on trying to get Berlin up and running at the moment uh, and improved. We've got our trains rolling through here, which we hope are going to become express trains. Uh, we're still waiting to see if that line's going to actually register as an express. Uh, got a few bonuses over here. What have we got? Uh, go to slow to Frankfurt as an express. Uh, Frankfurt is all the way down there, isn't it? Uh, what else have we got? Uh, connection bonuses. We don't really need these connection bonuses, do we? Although, do we need that? I think we need that product. Yes, we do. We need it for our porcelain manufacturing. Uh, so, we'll connect that one up. Let's uh, put a small station in here. Have to bring that connection in uh, just above the other track points. All the other signals just there. And then bring a line off the side here. We're not really going to need this coal anywhere else, I don't think. So I'm not worried about uh, creating uh, a loop onto other parts of the line. I just want this one here, just so we can run a train back and forth. Uh, and get that going in there. Did we connect up... The uh, other commodity that we needed. Yes, we did. That's there. Uh, I, again, I keep forgetting the name of that product. Uh, but we have that connected. So we just need to make sure that we have a train running from the coal mine in. It doesn't need to be a particularly fast train. Uh, we'll just go with a Class F on this one, I think. There we go. Uh, so that's that taken care of. They'll already have most of the supplies that they need as a result of uh, uh, do, 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 as a result of just going by cart deliveries. We still need to signal all of this bits of track over here. Uh, I'm trying to see what else we needed to get in commodity-wise. Uh, let's see. We've got grain and hops needed there, and they are both taken care of here. So we can get Brandenburg growing quite nicely in that respect. Uh, this needed what was smoked ham. Uh, we needed wood, salt, and pigs. So that industry might be getting ri ripped out because I don't think there's uh, any of those nearby. <laughs> Actually, we've got pigs all the way up there. Look, um, there's loads of pig uh, businesses up there. I don't think we own that territory yet. I don't remember. Have got salt though. Actually, uh, maybe. Maybe this was an okay one. Yeah, because we've got wood. There, look. So we can connect the wood line in. Ah, question is, how do I get the wood? I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to build uh, an overpass to link up to, to this part here. That might be a way that we have to do that. Still toying with the idea of maybe... I don't know if I want to route trains down this way into the maintenance station. I don't think we really need to, do we? Uh, not yet, anyway. What's our line situation looking like over here? I'm thinking... that we actually make some changes over here. So let's go back to track for a second. We make this our freight line coming in down here. We run that through here. And instead of these tracks merging just here, look, we actually get them to merge. Try to see if there's an easy way to do this without having to rip the whole set of lines up. Kind of do that. But uh, we'll just take up the connection. So we'll end planning. Uh, we'll build 
And this way we can keep the express line free of freight traffic going between the uh, the cities. So uh, let's take that bit out. And that bit out. We'll bring these lines down here. Like that. And then we can do the same here as well. So these lines that join in with the express line, we can get those to uh, ignore that. And carry on down here. Let's try and get this sorted. Like that. There we go. So now we've got a freight line that's completely independent. Actually, I suppose technically we don't really need that there. We could leave that as a potential. Actually, yeah, we'll uh, we'll take those out because we've got this connecting bit here. So this can all be freight traffic, and then any express trains that we want to run, we can run through here onto the express line. That works. Okay, so let's start signalling uh, these uh, junctions. So we can try and get some trains running in this area. We've got quite a lot of cities that we need to get up to 120,000. We've got three at that point so far. We need, was it eight or ten? Uh, I think it's a lot. I think it might be ten. Uh curve these all the way around here. Auto space our signals through that bit. Okay, and then we need to auto space through here. Uh, we'll start off, we'll kind of match the parallel there a little bit. is always the most laborious part is getting all these signals in place uh, run everything through to here there we go uh, so we'll space that bit there we go, and then we'll do the same here. Space that bit. And then this bit. There we go. Uh, and then we need to space what's left over here. And there's going to be a rogue signal there that we need to get rid of. I think I could possibly get away with a set of signals just there. Pull these in a bit. There we go. I think we can get away with that. Uh, so that bit's all signalled. Uh, this bit's all signalled. Uh, none of this is signalled over here yet, so we need to sort this out. Uh, so get all this done through here. There's that crossover that we put in. Bridge, which might mess things up, but seems to have been okay. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, we are going to need a supply tower along this run somewhere. Let's plonk the supply tower there. That's the point. We're going to need supply towers in quite a few places. Uh, got one there. Let's put one in here. Uh, we need to signal this bit. A track through here. So we'll start all the way over here. There we go. You can see the spacing again already being messed up a little bit because of the uh, the bridge.
Okay, so that bit's signalled. Uh, we need signals over here. Now, there needs to be a bit of a gap as well. So, uh, we'll place the signals here a little bit further away than we would normally place them. Because there needs to be a gap to those signals. I'm hoping that'll be enough. We'll do the same over here. With a little bit of a gap. There we go. Just enough for a train's width in each of those. That's good. Uh, over here, this is going to need a crossover. Signals in place. Check where they interact with the junction over here. In a bad place, of course. That'll do. Uh, let's put a supply tower in. Just there. Uh, we need signals on this stretch of track through here. And again, you can see that the spacing is just messed up because of the bridge. Uh, if we go there, and then if we take one out, put it there. That's a very long run, isn't it? Put those signals a bit further apart, like that. There we go. So that's signalled now. So we're starting to get uh, a nice little bit of a network built up over here. We need to get all this bit up and running. So we can start moving goods between our cities. And apart from this single freight, uh, sorry, this single sort of uh, express connection that we need from Berlin all the way over to was it Stuttgart? Uh, apart from that, we don't need to worry about express trains or passenger trains at all anymore. Uh, it's all about the movement of goods uh, and the flow of goods, getting our cities uh, interconnected to ship goods and commodities between each other. That's the important bit now. It's a really long gap through there, isn't it? Uh, let's uh, put a supply tower in just there. Uh, we'll put one in there as well. And then we've got a connection here, which also needs signalling. Space those out. There we go, and that's where we'll put our supply tower. Just there. Alright, this section is starting to really take shape, finally. We've got the ability to run lines out from Castle through here as well if we want to. Uh, we're going to hold off on that until we know whether or not this is actually going to become an express connection because this still may need to be reworked. Uh, we may possibly need to run... Uh, oh, it's Cologne, wasn't it? Uh, so we may need to connect up to this line here and run straight through over the top and just really cut this line as short as we possibly can. I'm hoping that what we've got will work. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see. Uh, let's start getting some trains running on these newer lines. So, uh, from here... Oh, gee, how I... Is that a station? It is. It's just a station. Uh, if it was a warehouse, we would have had to program the goods in, but we don't have to, so that's okay. Let's get uh, some locos running from here. Definitely want a security guard on this train. And if we duplicate that train, and 
this time we want that to prioritize hops. There we go. Uh, I want a train to run from there into there. There we go. This is going to be using which platform? I should be using the second platform. It is. Good. Again, we want a class B and we also want uh, some personnel on this train to improve it if we can. There we go. Uh, Brandenburg, we want a train to run from uh, Brandenburg into Berlin, shipping goods. There we go. Uh, Magdeburg. Do we own either of those businesses? No, we don't. Uh, do we own these businesses? We own one of them. We own the brewery. Uh, we may as well buy the bakery as well. I think we put all of our competitors out of business last time, didn't we? Can't remember. Let's have a look. No, not yet. Put all of our competitors out of business. We still have somebody... Oh, new surveyor. Oh. It's a reduction in uh, bonus, but it gives us a bonus with our station master as well. So, yes, we're going to make that switch. There we go. Our station master is now getting a, a nice little boost. So, uh, reducing maintenance time, uh, times by 15%. Yeah, that's going to pay off. We're going to have to let this uh, surveyor level up and to improve the discount on new routes, but this is all about mainly about the bonuses here, uh, specifically that one as well, improving how quickly we can get stuff done through maintenance. Uh, are either of these trains, or any of these trains, classed as an express yet? Not yet. I'm not 100% convinced it's going to connect them as an express because it's got to go through too many other stops. I don't know if this is going to work. It might have to be just a point to point. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. You see, the delay here. We're now stuck behind goods trains, which is slowing that line down. So that might not work. We might, as I say, have to rebuild our express connection, but at the very least we've got a connection that we can then perhaps uh, rework for freight instead in you know, in, in some way, shape or form. Uh, what else do we need to do to improve Berlin? We need to get wool into Berlin. Where is the nearest wool source? Just there. Is that in our territory? No, but we do need more territories. We've got uh, 16 that we need. We've only got 8. So let's buy this territory. Uh, Mecklenburg for 3 million marks by area. There we go. Now we've got two commodities here uh, that we are definitely going to need uh, for various different kind of uh, cities. Specifically the wool. 3 million is a lot to buy <laughs> just for a wool source, isn't it? But uh, yeah, we, as I say, we do need those goods elsewhere as well. So let's uh, quickly run in a wool connection. Um, both of these cities are terminals. Ah, okay. Well, that's all right. We can get around that. Take that back out for now. Let's start looking at reworking everything over here. Uh, this is where it's going to get messy again. I think what I might do is I might actually get rid of that station and put it as a through station now that we've opened up this area here. So let's take that out. Let's take uh, that line out. Let's go with 
a large station with signal control. Place that there. And then we've got a through station, which we can now bring goods in this way. We can send trains out this way towards... Uh, where is that? Stettin. Uh, and also up towards uh, uh, Schwerin and uh, Rostock up there. And obviously we can come out this way as well. So we can go to, uh, to Cottbus this way. Uh, we can also go across towards uh, Posen over there. Uh, Luxembourg, no, it's not Luxembourg, it's Landsberg. So we've got uh, trains that we can send out in different directions, which is good. Uh, we need to reconnect this down into here. I'm going to rip bits of these lines up. Major reconstruction in this area needed. Oh, that land is in a locked area. We don't have access to that just yet. Okay. But this we do have access to. Is that a bridge? No, that's okay. Oh, it's in the wrong connection. Damn it. There we go. That's where it should be connected. So now we have a direct connection there. Cottbus uh, is a kind of a mirror, in a way, of... Uh, Brandenburg, you know, with a bakery and a brewery. Just looking to see where the hops are coming from, though. I don't think they are. I don't think they're coming from anywhere. So we might take the the, uh, the brewery out, because there's no hops connected. Or even nearby, for that matter. So we can look at getting rid of that uh, that business. So we can figure out where it is. First of all, oh, we need to rip out this station as well, don't we? Uh, let's let these trains run through, first of all, just so they can get the goods in there. Where's that train supposed to be going to? To Krauss Quarry. It's all the way up there. <laughs> We're just going to delete that line. There we go. Let's get rid of that completely. Uh, any word yet on our passenger trains? None of them have registered as an express yet. And I don't think they're going to. There's too much freight on the line getting in their way. So I think we're going to have to rework that completely. Let's buy the last loco. And then everything in here looks to be cleared out now. We've got the older stuff there that we can potentially start working on. And what have we got through here still remaining? Not a lot of stuff. So we've almost completely uh, maxed all those bits out. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, put all our competitors out of business. Yeah, France is still running. Look, look at his company value compared to ours. And we need to unlock the Bavaria region before we can, can uh, come along and, and just demolish him. So uh, we're going to stockpile some cash. Uh, and then we'll just take him out in one single go. I think it's going to be the easiest way to deal with that. Uh, there he is, actually. Where are we? Which way round are we? That's Karlsruhe, Worms, Freiburg. Um, Freiburg's growing. That's good to see. We've been working on that. They are improving. We've got uh, some uh, some need for some grain. Are they getting grain in? 
Yes, grain is on the way to Freiburg. It's taking its time to get down there. But it is on the way. That's Essen. Go to slow. Uh, Magdeburg needs work. Brandenburg is improving now that we've got uh, both the brewery and the bakery up and running. I'm going to clone each of these trains. Uh, in fact, no, I'm going to leave that one, uh, leave two of them automatic. There we go. So this one should be going up with hops. It is. And the one behind it, because there's a load of grain on the way in, and the bakery is pretty much full, uh, that should hopefully pick up hops as well. A little bit of hops. Now, this thing isn't buying, uh, producing enough, so we need to buy this and upgrade it. So it produces hops at a, a faster, uh, faster volume. Again, because our other competitor is locked. He won't try and uh, steal auctions from us, which is quite handy. Uh, we need to carry on expanding through here. What do we need in Cottbus? Uh, where are all these trains going? Berlin to... Oh, it's going all the way over there. Uh, yeah, let's uh, scrap this train. Because we've got grain going in now, so we don't need that. Uh, what else is running on this line? Uh, Berlin to Erhard Manor. That's the same place. Again, we can get rid of this. Uh, new rail line. Scrap that train as well. What's left? Posen. Two trains running from Posen to Berlin. That's a bit of a long run. All the way through. But the station is clear now. So, before anything else pops in, let's uh, <laughs> remove the connection there. Let's actually take uh, these lines out from here. So, let's get a decent sized scheduled station in Cottbus. Put it at that angle. And there we go. Now we've got a freight line. And then we've got an express line. Potentially. I want the uh, express line to actually be separated out so that we can bring this in over here. Actually, you know, we weren't bo we weren't worried about express lines, weren't we? Because we weren't going to do uh, passenger trains. So we've just got a connection through here. That's all we need. Then that can then loop up this way uh, and uh, come up to this area. We can also ship goods in to Berlin that way, which will be definitely be quicker. Uh, let's take these lines out. We need this territory. We've got trains in here, so we might as well just buy the area. Where else do we have trains? Going all the way up there. Well, we don't have to worry about that just yet. In fact, let's just take a look. Uh, secure access to 16 areas by 1861. The express connection. Got a year, well, under a year and a half to deal with that. Let's just go ahead and get the territories out of the way.
Just looking to see if there's going to be anything that's going to be re really useful for us. In terms of location and commodities and so on and so forth. Even if we don't build in the regions, as long as we have access to them, that's the important thing. Uh, four and a half million for Switzerland. 4.2 for Tyrol. That's a big old zone, actually. Uh, what about this one here? Oh, that's Tyrol. And then this one here is uh, Corinthia. That's 4.8. That's the one we want to ignore. Gain access to a neighbouring region first before we can buy that. So you can't just buy territories randomly positioned. You have to have a the ability to access them through a direct border-to-border -border connection. Now I'm looking to buy up all the land surrounding his territory to stop him from expanding. Uh, so that's uh, 4.8. Can't afford... Why can't we afford 4... Oh, we've only got 3.8. Uh, let's buy uh, Saxony. There we go. And then we just need this territory here. We've burnt through most of our money to do that, but we're kind of trying to landlock our competitor in place. Lots and lots of train conflicts all the way through here, which is to be expected, because uh, Cottbus uh, can't be reached at the moment. Look at this mess of looping around here. This, this is what frustrates me sometimes, is that the computer builds uh, the most unnecessary sort of uh, routes. I wonder if going forward the AI will start to use the uh, auto signaling stations or are they just going to continue to build these really weird connections that they do I'm going to take all of this out I'm going to end up with a lot of trains getting uh, reset but that's okay So we've got our main connection running through there. Now we need a connection over here in Posen. So we need to put a good sized station here in Posen. Take all of those bits of track out like that. Large station with signal control. Let's put it at that angle. Build some track. This is going to run all the way over to... That's a long connection. Let's put a... A maintenance station down along this route because it is such a long route. Put a maintenance station... See, okay, I'm wary of how it's going to interact with the scenery. We put it there, and then at that point, we can then split the lines off and run this way. Actually, no, that's not a good idea. Let's take that back up. We'll end up with two. We'll have one down here for our connection over towards uh, Cottbus. We put it there. Then we can link the dairy in that way. And if we need the porcelain, we can link it in that way. If we need the wool and the wood, we can link those up through there. So we'll do that. And then we want one over here on the run over to, uh, to Berlin. So with this, I'm going to run these through the middle. And then that leaves us a line either side to ship goods in from either side if we need to. This one's going to come out and again into the middle. 
Let's run these tracks parallel a little bit to start with. Like that. Run those in there. Oh, I've got something there. Look, a supply tower. A uh, relic of the old route. Which wound its way all over the place. Uh, let's get the connection to Berlin through first. Again, we'll run parallel at the start. So that if we want to, we can put a supply tower in covering all four lines. That should be enough. Let's take that out. Let that line straighten itself out automatically. Uh, the heights look all okay. There's only the one bridge crossing just there. We are a little close to that. How close are we? Uh, pretty close. We're going to need to pull that away a little bit. So we'll stretch down a bit further. Just to give us room to get our station in and then send the line that way and then send the line that way without getting too close to this bridge here. Uh, all the lines themselves. So let's... Uh, Put in our passing track, our parallel line all the way through. There we go. So now Posen is reconnected to Berlin. Need to do the same down here. Tighten that line up a bit, first of all. There we go. Excellent stuff. And now, <laughs> just realised, we've got a wool source down here. Uh, that we can run up to uh, to Berlin there. Obviously, that's the much more attractive option. But it, we have that in place. Uh, all of this needs to come out as well. This is a bit of a mess. Uh, I think um, a warehouse here might be a better option. Let's make that a, uh, a signalled warehouse. Because it could end up getting quite a busy, being quite a busy connection. and tighten that up just a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then that leaves us a line to uh, bring that out. And then obviously if we expand out this way up here, we've got uh, uh, a line that can go out from here. We've now got potatoes and pigs that can go uh, into Poston and we can also now ship goods out the other way as well. Which will be quicker. And that is why I left just a single line like that. So that we can ship goods out this way. Uh, and also we can also 
uh, you know, have a line that comes off this way if it needs to and goes that way. Uh, that works quite nicely. There's going to be a lot of signalling that's going to need to be done when all this is uh, is said and done over here. Uh, what else? Industry-wise, I'd like to put a pig farm in here, perhaps. There's pigs up there. If we put a meat industry in there, just looking to see. There's no meat industry around here at all, is there? There is meat all the way over there in Poston. But that's a long way off, so I'm just thinking about getting, you know, the boots produced in here. We don't have enough for this territory, I don't think. Yes, yeah, three million for that territory. Besides, we want Berlin to be a big city. So, yeah, we want there to be a meat source in there, don't we? Okay, uh, let's let's go ahead and factor that in. So, we want... Uh, a warehouse. Just there. Uh, and then I also want uh, just for now a small station up here with the possibility of upgrading it so I'll put it on that side like that let's run this in and run it in on that line Like that, so I can ship goods out. If we do go into uh, to the city, then it gives me the option to run my shed or my uh, my warehouse that way as a as a double track line. Let's do that, and then run that up this way. There we go, and then I want this to connect into Berlin. Uh, but what I'll also do is if I run it from here, run that in on these bottom lines here, uh, I can also run it into the back of Brandenburg as well. So I can potentially ship uh, products out that out to there too. Like this. We run our parallel line through here. We should have done the other one first, shouldn't we? Let's yeah, let's do the other line first. There we go. Why is that problematic? Because of colliding with the other track. So we make that parallel for a little bit. Again, we can put a. Uh, a supply tower on the approach which will cover all the lines and then we really tighten that out shorten the distance excellent okay this is all starting to take shape it's an awful lot of track for us to manage though uh, so what I'll do is I'll signal all this new stuff that we put in between episodes just to speed things up a little bit because we are you know <laughs> we are burning through a lot of time without actually achieving a lot in terms of uh, movement and progression of time uh, so what I'll probably also do is I'll uh, get these goods uh, connected up and get those signaled in as well and then we'll start dropping some trains in and trying to uh, get things running next time out. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am Jim Bob and I'll be back with some more of the patchwork playthrough uh, for Railway Empire Germany here on the PS4 very soon.